Work Club Coach Todd here in my kitchen. Going to be making some homemade protein bars. I want to share this recipe with you guys. I really enjoy them. They taste amazing. They're extremely inexpensive. And these, all these ingredients, I can pronounce. So, half the ingredients on the back protein bars, I can't even say. So, I, I can't imagine I'd want to put them in my body. So, this is a great way to, uh, to supplement your food with these protein bars. I'll go ahead and post the nutrition facts and um, the serving sizes. Um, I'll, I'll weigh out the protein bars here when I'm done, give you guys a better idea how, how, how big these things are and how many calories, fats, carbs, proteins uh, are in each one of these bars. So let's get right to it. All right. So first off, we're gonna take a stroll through the through the uh, through the ingredients here. Your base is actually gonna be whey protein powder. I use Cytosport Muscle Milk. Um, I've also used um, Optimum Nutrition's Gold Standard. That's that's good stuff too. So I'm gonna go with the Muscle Milk today. 100% um, whole grain oats, and you can see this is the key. Quick cook oats. These uh these cook in one minute. They're actually a little smaller than the whole oats, so they've been ground a little more. They uh they mix a little better, I've found in these protein bars. So make sure they're whole grain though, whole grain oats, not that instant stuff. Um, I use Adam's 100% natural peanut butter. Um, this stuff. Check the ingredients back here. The only ingredients you should see on natural peanut butter are peanuts and or salt. Um, not and or, just peanuts and salt. All the other stuff like Skippy and and Jif and all that stuff has added sugars, hydrogenated oils, all the nasty stuff that you don't need. Um, I also have some natural clover honey there and some unsweetened almond milk. So again, these bars are super simple. You can see there, there's only five ingredients. So, simple step number one, mix ingredients. Let's take a look. All right, guys. So, preferably, when you mix your ingredients, get a, a, a glass bowl or a tin bowl, something that's uh, not porous. Um, and then you're going to go ahead and you're going to you're going to mix your dry ingredients first. And if you notice the size of the scoop on the muscle milk that I'm using, it's a little larger than some of the scoops you see. So a lot of recipes will suggest eight scoops of protein. Um, because of the amount of powder in one scoop of this muscle milk, um, I use six scoops. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to toss in six heaping scoops. Three, four, five, and six. Right. So we got our protein weigh in there. I am then going to add one cup of my whole grain oats. Make sure you got some clean hands before you do this. You can mix this by hand and I washed my hands so I'm not worried about it. Um, go ahead and mix these dry ingredients first. Get it nice and consistent there. Alright. So we got our protein powder and, and our oats mixed in there. And next I'm going to add one third cup of natural peanut butter. And it works out to about four tablespoons. So there's one. And this does does get a little messy, but it is so so worth it when they are done. There's three. Well I'll do one more. That's good stuff. So I've added my peanut butter. Next, we add our honey. 
three tablespoons, three tablespoons of honey, and this is actually going to make this. This is this is what sort of holds it all together. The honey, it's going to make the bar super sticky, but uh, they should they should get solid in our last step when we uh we put them in the fridge or or the freezer or whatever you want to do. There's two tablespoons. We got one more here. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to eat these. And there's three. And I like to get all of the honey in there. See, you can see there's still a lot in there. So get it all out. Alright. We got that. It's gonna be delicious. Then we're going to add a half a cup of almond milk. Now you can use skim milk, 1%, 2%. Trying to keep the calories a little bit lower on this, trying to keep the fat content lower. So I'm using almond milk. Almond milk has about half the calories, um, double the vitamin D of milk, and uh, also has some more good fats in it from, uh, from those almonds. So uh, a half a cup, and I, I'll start out with just a little less than half a cup, um, just in case I don't need it after I mix this up, I can add more if I need to. Toss that in there, and we commence the mixing process. And this stuff will get thick real soon here. And you want to try and scrape all the edges off because that you want to get that protein powder. You don't want to get a big bite of protein powder dust when you bite into these protein bars. So you want to make sure that this gets mixed up real good. You can you can see it's starting to starting to turn into a dough-like consistency. And I'm going to go ahead and add a little more almond milk to this and keep that going so I will get this mixed up and I'll be right back as soon as uh, as soon as I get this all mixed guys alright guys I got this all mixed up I'm gonna go ahead and show you the consistency here if you can see that it's uh really thick really sticky but it should be like a ball of dough you should be able to pick this whole thing up as a ball and uh and put it into your to your uh your dish that you're gonna or lay it out on a plate flatten this out and put it in the fridge so uh that's about the consistency you want that spoon should be able to stand straight up <laughs> should be able to stand straight up in there so uh, our next step is going to be putting putting this mixture that we've concocted into a pan where I can spread these out into a square and cut them into even bars so what I have here my wife got this neat little tool is a uh, it actually pressurizes this and this has olive oil inside we use this instead of instead of Pam or cooking spray um, so it, it works great I just coat the pan real light real lightly so that, so that these bars pull out nice and easy and then I am going to scoop up this massive of material. <laughs> if I can get it out of there. And put it in the dish here. And this stuff is super sticky. Again, that honey gives it, makes it a little difficult to work with, but the flavor is just phenomenal. 
And you guys, once once you try these, you're never going to want to buy a store-bought protein bar again because the taste of these is, again, it's just, it's phenomenal. You guys have to try this. So, I'm going to get all the, all that I can out of here. Make sure I scrape it clean. Alright. Then I'm just going to try and, and spread these out. Spread this out evenly across the pan there. Might not have too much success doing it, but we'll get there. Man, I'll tell you what, if you didn't do your shoulders and arms workout today for P90X, yeah, just go ahead and make these protein bars. <laughs> that'll that'll get your shoulder and arm workout in for the day. So let's see what Tony Horton thinks about that. And I want to try and I want to try and get this into all corners of the pan so that I can make even servings. That way, I know exactly how many calories, how many grams of protein, how many grams of carbs, how many grams of fat are in every single bar. Now this is a, I'm using a 9x9 nine nine baking dish. You can use something different, something smaller, something bigger, depending on how big of a batch you want to make. But you also want to make sure that you get this mixture nice and, nice, nice and level in the pan. And these are already starting to set up, so I'm getting less time to work with it. I'll go ahead and show you guys what I got here so far. So, got my mixture stuck in the pan there. This goes into the fridge or the freezer for 20 to 45 minutes, depending on if you can wait that long to try these things. I, I tend to err on the side of 20 minutes because I can't wait to eat them. So, stick them in the freezer and uh, we'll come back in 20 to 45 minutes and cut these up. Alright guys, so as you can see it's been about uh, it's been about 40 minutes in the freezer with these bars. I've taken them out of the pan. You can see there's not much residue left there behind because of that uh, very very light olive oil I sprayed in there. And here is the glory. Five protein bars. Weighed these out on my scale here. They come out to about four ounces each. And if you go ahead and look in the description of this video, I have the nutrition facts posted. So I really hope you guys get a chance to make these. Um, they will save you money uh, with the ingredients I use. They work out to about 75 cents each. And I eat one of these every day. So. I'm saving about a dollar a day on these 35 bucks a month so that's a big chunk of change uh, for a lot of people I know it is for me so I really do hope you get a chance to try these um, go ahead and leave your comments or suggestions for more recipes um, and I would love to get back at you guys and take care and enjoy bye